Hey guys. Well, recently I upgraded my enclosed trailer. Old red was getting old, rusted, starting to really show its age. I had that trailer since 2003 is when I bought it. It was a 97 when I bought it. So it was 21 years old. And it, it was time. I only use an enclosed trailer just a couple times a year uh, for our vintage snowmobile runs and for deer hunting. And I was having a hard time justifying buying a new trailer. But I haul that trailer, when we deer hunt, we hunt up by Canada and I haul it, I put about 700 miles on it in one weekend. And we go up there a couple times in the fall. So, you know, I put a lot of miles on it and it was time to upgrade. And this is what we upgraded to, a United trailer. I haven't even used it yet. I pulled it home three weeks ago is when I picked it up. And the roads were nice and dry. It was perfect conditions to get the trailer home. And I have it in the shop here. I have it all jacked up. Trent and I are just starting to mask it off. And we are going to undercoat it. It already comes with a, an undercoating on it, a rust proofing, a rust inhibitor or something that they put on the frame from the factory. But my neighbor is a body guy. Uh, he does car restorations and, and repairs. And he has highly recommended that I spray something better on it. And now's the time to do it. Everything's new. Everything's clean. Uh, so this is, this is a no-brainer. Bring it in the shop, jack it up, mask things off, and spray it on there. It's cheap. It's just time-consuming. Uh, he picked this up for me. This is the product. It's called No Drip Rust Proofing. It comes in black. And it comes in another color, like a, a blonde or kind of a translucent color. But I want to do black underneath the trailer so it looks factory done. And there's really no prep. Um, you're supposed to just chip off any major rusting, dirt, and, and make sure everything's dry. And you apply it with this gun. It's a siphon gun. And it comes with different attachments. Like this is kind of a, a spray one here that I'll use for doing all the frame rails and stuff. Otherwise, it comes with this other one here for getting up in the nooks and crannies and stuff. And this one, I guess, works pretty good for getting down the nooks and crannies, too. You kind of shove it down the holes and... And whatnot so so that's what I'll be using to apply it is that siphon gun and that gallon was 50 bucks and he's thinking that should be able to do the whole trailer so for some time and fifty dollars to hopefully get more years out of this I'm all for it and it, I, I'm fine with it so I'll show you the inside of the trailer uh, I'll have Trenton drop the back door down too I'll go ahead and drop that door Trenton but we really like it. We got a couple things in here. Uh, we've been just kind of storing in here for right now. Here's Trenton's John Deere tractor. We'll be bringing that up north here pretty soon and uh, to be able to plow our driveway up there. That thing's a plowing machine. But all nice and white interior. Uh, fit and finish is really nice. Uh, I didn't look at a lot of trailers. Um, this one just kind of, it was, it just had everything I was kind of looking for. With the 5,200 pound axles, I can haul the hot rods in here. I got, uh, plenty of room and that was the one thing I couldn't do with my other enclosed trailer I could not put the hot rods in it and there's a few shows I'd like to go to that I really don't want to make the couple hundred mile drive in the hot rod to get there I'd rather trailer it yeah call me whatever you want but I didn't want to make the drive on some of them shows we have a cabin up north and there's a lot of shows up there if I'm going up there for the weekend it's pretty easy to put the car inside the trailer and bring it with why I'm up there for the weekend and we can take the car into town to the shows. It just seems to make sense to me. And it's got all the LED lights. It's 20 foot, the rectangle is 20 foot and there's a five foot V in the front. And also in the front there is a drop down door also so you can drive snowmobiles in and out. That was another big plus. Uh, our other trailer, we had to drag them out backwards all the time. And it sucked. Uh, didn't like doing it, but that's what we had for a trailer and that's what we did. That's what that's what we used This one also has a side door. The other one didn't have a side door So there's a lot of a lot of pluses on this trailer from what we used to have And this is gonna be nice. We're really gonna enjoy this trailer. It's gonna make where we go snowmobiling and hauling the hot rods very nice to be able to drive them in and out and To be able to haul the car. That's a huge plus for me now And I didn't go overly big uh, I would have liked to have bigger, but I've pulled some longer trailers too, and boy, you can really tell you got a big trailer behind you then. I wanted something kind of happy medium, though, where we can haul four snowmobiles in, which we can get in here, and haul a car. 
you know, if I go to a longer trailer, yeah, I can haul more snowmobiles, but generally it's just Trenton and I going riding, so I really don't need to haul many more snowmobiles. And you'd have to go super long to even fit two cars in it, so this seemed to be the perfect size. It's a little shorter. It's a 6'6 six, six trailer instead of the seven foot trailers. A lot of guys are going with the seven foot trailers now so they can get their rangers and stuff in them. I don't have a ranger, so that's not an issue. And I kind of wanted the trailer a little lower. It does pull nicer. You can tell the taller you get your trailer, you can really tell it's back there then. And I didn't want to have that issue. If I'm pulling it a few hundred miles, especially when we go up to Canada, uh, it goes through a lot more gas then, and, or diesel in, in my case, in my truck. So I didn't want to have to break the bank everywhere I'm pulling it, you know, getting eight, nine miles to the gallon. So, but, so that's our new enclosed trailer that we're going to be rust proofing this afternoon. Uh, it's a United trailer, 10,000 pound GVW, and we like it. Thanks for watching, guys. And eventually, when I get that thing done, it might even get a ride in this trailer. But I got to get busy back on that thing. Thanks for watching, guys.